Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a new domain in your Plesk panel. So the first thing you're going to do is click login to the Plesk control panel and you'll want to log into Plesk. Next, we're going to go to add a domain. And we're going to register a domain name. This is if you already have a domain name, you want to point it to the Plesk servers. Uh, you can register new domain name. So for this example, I'm going to be using just a random domain name that I don't own called exampledomain.com. Uh, for location of the website files, since I'm not using a reseller, Plesk reseller account, I do not have a Plesk reseller account. I just have a regular Plesk, Plesk account. Um, the location of the website files are going to be under my main domain, which is rupaldemo.com. That's my main domain. You can find it right here. Um, I want to activate DNS service. I want to activate the mail service and your preferred domain. I'm going to leave it as none. You can also secure the domain with Let's, Enc Let's Encrypt right here. Um, I'm actually not going to do this right now because I haven't decided if I want this domain on Cloudflare or I'm going to point the domain names name servers directly to Plesk. If you use Cloudflare, you won't need to enable this unless you're going unless you're going to use the SSL for mail uh, and you're going to use the mail of the Plesk server, then you will be using Let's Encrypt if you want secure mail. So all you really have to do is enter a domain name, uh, select the hosting type. You know, I'm not going to for be forwarding this domain. I don't want it to go to a different domain name. If I did, I would enter the target address right here and I would just leave it as code 301 move permanently. So, and there's other codes you can, you know, forwarding types you can choose, move move permanently code 301 is the best one so we're going to choose hosting and we're going to click okay and there you go it was successfully created so now i can go in here i can actually preview the website before um, it goes live and I click preview and this is going to show the website at Plesk, not the actual domain name. And you can see it up here. So we could view our website before it goes live. We can migrate our files over, migrate our database over to confirm everything's working and then change the name, name servers over. So let's say you want to create a domain and you don't have a domain name. Plesk has a really, really cool feature called temporary domain name. So what you do is you click temporary domain, temporary domain name and you get an actual temporary domain name with Plesk. I know, right? Really cool. You can start developing right away. Uh, you don't need a website. And then you can copy your files over from this temporary domain name to your live site when you're ready. So again, just going to leave everything how it is, not touch anything. And uh, we're actually gonna secure it. We wanna secure this. And I don't think you have an option. So I'm gonna click okay. And we're gonna wait for our temporary domain name to load. And there you go. Look, you can use this button when you're ready to rename the website and assign a registered domain name. That's so cool. So you click right here, you can actually change the domain name and it'll change the entire domain name for your website. So when you're ready to go live. So this is a really cool feature to preview your website before it goes live. You can move everything over. Um, the mid, so the domain was secured by Let's Encrypt. So now we can actually open it up in the web. And there you go, that's the link. And we can actually go to WordPress and install a WordPress on this temporary domain name. So I'm gonna really quickly do that. I'm not gonna go through the install WordPress options. I'm just gonna install it just to show you. Um, there's another video that I created, how to install WordPress in Plesk using WordPress toolkit. You can watch that. Look how quickly that was installed. Gosh dang, that was quick. 
So now we're gonna open up the website and boom, there's a WordPress website using this domain name. You actually have it live. You're not using the preview button and your website's live and look how quick that is. So that's a great feature. And when you're ready to change your website live, let's say you're developing on this temporary domain name website, you can actually update the site URL later and it'll auto update. So when you change that URL on your domains right here, when you change this domain name, we'll go back into WordPress and I believe you can just change, update the site URL right here. If not, you can always do the copy data right here and copy it into another website uh, and uncheck that and click start and you can copy your entire WordPress into a different website from this temporary domain name. Really cool. You don't have to buy any a domain name, you know, with RootPal or GoDaddy or whoever. You can start developing right away with a secure site. Awesome. And that's how you cre create a domain name and add a domain name and add and create a temporary domain name with Plesk.